would say almost everyone likes the new caves in Minecraft 1.18, but here's something that everyone doesn't like, the fact that you basically cannot see in them, and that if you want to be able to see them correctly, you have to put down hundreds upon thousands of torches in-game. Well, don't worry, because I have a solution for you, and it requires no mods, no data packs, nothing like that at all. In fact, you can do this in vanilla, and you can even use this on servers or anything else you want. It'll turn your caves from something like this to something like this crazy, isn't it? You can see so much. In fact, you can literally see everything, as if you have a night vision potion on. How did I do this? Well, watch this video to find out. Also, just so you're aware, this tutorial is for Java edition of Minecraft, and I'm showing this on a Windows computer, but you should be able to do this on any computer you want, Mac or Linux or anything else. So you're going to want to go to the part of your computer that has Minecraft saved on it. Mine is local disk. Then you want to go to the users section. You want to go to the user that you have Minecraft installed on, and for me it's user1. Then you want to go to app data. Now if you can't see app data, just go up here to view and check this little box that says hidden items. See if that's not checked, you won't see app data. If it is checked, you will. Then we'll just go to app data. Then you want to double click on roaming. Then you want to go down here and double click on Minecraft. Then you're going to see your file with everything in Minecraft on it. You're just going to scroll down here until you see this little text file that says options. You're just going to double click on that and you're going to have this open up in notepad or whatever your default uh, txt file reader is. You're going to see a whole bunch of stuff here and there's actually a lot of interesting things you can do here. But for now we're talking about how to get your world bright. So you're going to want to go to here where it says gamma and you're going to want to change this. You're going to want to highlight it right there and add two zeros. Now this will change gamma from 1.0 to 100.0. It's important to keep the .0 just so it reads it correctly. Once it's at 100.0, just go to File, go to Save, and turn this off. Also, it's important to make sure that Minecraft is not open while you do this, because if it is open, it'll just reset whatever information you put on there. It won't ruin your game, it just won't have the intended effect. And here we are inside of Minecraft, and you can see that these caves are incredibly lit up. Exactly the same amount of light as you'd get from night vision but without having to drink a bunch of potions or the annoying particle effects. Now it's very very important to remember that this is not actually physically brighter in any way, so it's still very very dark here. So you're still going to have mobs spawning just as they would, nothing else is going to change at all, but visually you're going to be able to see everything perfectly. You might have seen some famous Minecrafters use this effect, and it's really useful because you can actually use it just to be able to have an amazing amount of night vision without any need for potions, and in these new Minecraft 1.18 caves I would say that's quite important. Now quickly, if you want to know how to get rid of this effect, because you might not always want your lighting to be on night vision or full bright mode, you're going to want to go to escape, then options, then you want to go to video settings, and on brightness here, the second that you change your brightness slider down at all, from being bright, so if you touch this whatsoever, it'll reset it to the original thing, which is of course bright being gamma 1.0 instead of 100.0. So there you have it. There's how you make 1.18 caves, in fact really any cave or any dark place, look like it's completely bright, like it's in daylight or maybe if it's in night vision in Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the like button, subscribe, comment, share. Well, these things really do help my channel and this video. I'll see you guys in the next one and have a great day. Goodbye.